in the Jewish faith, when a boy reaches the age of 13, he is said to become a man. So it has been for generations. Once you are bar mitzvah, you assume all the responsibilities of being a mature adult, whether you're ready or not. So no matter what challenges you may face, no matter what problems you may encounter, no matter what mishikos comes your way, you'll have 10,000 years of Jewish history guiding you to your destiny. So you can say, with pride and confidence, I'm Eric Goldman, Elliot 224 West 92nd Street, in the heart of Manhattan, and my life just went to hell.
It's your decision, which we all know is Jewish for you're coming with me. So she drives me away from my home and all my friends, and now I have to have my bar mitzvah in Appleton, Indiana. If it's so awful, just don't have it. Yeah, try telling that to my mom. For Jews, your bar mitzvah is the one day everything in your life is supposed to be happy and perfect. Yeah, you see, Catholics, we don't have that day. It would go against everything we believe in. <laughs> Besides, how hot your party is totally sets up how popular you'll be. So I need this one to be the best. The best DJ, in the best ballroom, at the best hotel. Which is the best western? Come on, I just want to some place in this town. Sorry, your choices are like my life there. Limited. Limited to what? Down the road, there's a dairy queen. Up the block, there's a Walmart. There's a place you can accessorize your pets.
please. <laughs> Come on, why don't I show you the hillside where everyone waits for the resurrection? <laughs> it's all working out. I got a new friend who's as great as my old ones. My mom's away again, waiting herself off the meds. And I'll be totally set up here if I can just get all the coolest kids to come to my party. Okay, guys, listen up. My friend Fred Samson, he's a star quarterback. He's got 8 million friends, and he beat the crap out of all of them. If he comes, everyone comes. I just need to wait for him. Kendra's going to be here any minute. We have to get this right. What have you got? Check it out, yo. We on it. One, two, three, here we go. Watch 
what they watch, shop where they shop, talk like they talk, or think like they think. And neither do you, Evan. Trust me, stay away from those guys. They don't know you like I know you. But you're with me now. Come on, I have a good feeling about our first day at Dan Quayle Junior High. <laughs> I found one day in October when the pieces all will fit. When I'm finally accepted and my party is a hit. I found one day in October and I know it's gonna be a bra. What? So like, what's a barf matzo anyway? <laughs> I know. It's this weird Jewish thing where they make you talk backwards and. Everyone gets circumcised. No! Oh! No, no, it's a party with a hot DJ and people dancing. That might be cool. Yeah, come in. I'll be there. I got one day in October, and if I don't get this right... Hold on. Is the freak coming? Patrice? Yeah, if she is, we're so stuck. Count me out. Come on, what's wrong with Patrice? She'll be there. And we won't if they don't go with each other. Got it. Told you. Come on, Evan. Guys, you've got it wrong. Make up your mind, Frank. It's either us or her. Up to you. I've got one day in October, and if I don't get this down, then it's one more huge disaster, like my parents, like this town. I thought one day in October, I can't make it to October. But it's really gotta be the perfect party. The perfect party. See what I told you? He is the brain. Yeah! I can't wait to come to your party. 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 To to your party. To your party. What party? I can't wait. I can't wait. 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 Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Tim out onto the streets? 
and so close to Christmas. Archie, I really gotta go find the trees. I understand. I don't want you to feel under pressure, even though it's a sick boy's dying wish. <laughs> dying? Oh, did that slip out? Really? You're dying? I have a degenerative neuromuscular disorder. Look, I feel terrible, really. But I can't get Kendra to go out with you. I do one thing wrong at the school, and I mess up the loser table for life. I'm on major probation here. There's exactly one person in the school who can help, and that person is you. There's the kid, there's the person there to escape with family songs, and then there's me, there's the losers, there's the person there to stone with family songs, and then there's me, but then there's you.
Pupperette. Besides, you can go out with a lot of other boys. But I'm not hot as you would be. Shut up, I'm fat. Well, not everywhere. <laughs> okay, fine. As long as you know that Brett asked you to go to the movies for one reason only, he wants you to do the tongue. The tongue? The tongue, and trust me, you won't like it. But my mom says pretend you like it prepares you for marriage. <laughs>
Yo, Frank! Frank, driving a pink tender to the movies was great. Now, get your mom to buy us all tickets to the Bloodmaster. Bloodmaster? Friday night? Wait, you want my mom to buy tickets for everyone? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's no way my mom's gonna buy tickets for an R-rated movie. I'll make this easy for you. Do you want us all to come to a local Jewish party? Of course. Friday night, 7.30. Or maybe you're just not as useful as I thought.
goes right, then I'll be free and clear. And if it goes as planned, Patrice will understand. Some prices are worth paying when your dreams come true.
Friday night, the Bloodmaster. I did it. Everyone's here. Brett and Kendra are together. Even Patrice made it. And this movie is disgusting. <laughs>
heart going out? No. So your tongue, it's still available? Yes. Great. Not good. Not good. Yeah, not good. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mom. We'll be waiting right outside. Okay, bye. My mom's gonna pick us up. What a nightmare. Now we'll never be my friends. Then, that's who you're worried about. Then, what's your problem? You invited me out, and you didn't even talk to me. I put on this stupid dress, my mother's makeup, and you didn't even look at me. Well, what was I supposed to do? Anything but what you did. I should have known. You made your choice and said I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough for you to be my friend. You wanted to be cool, and I'm not good enough. No, look, I get it. You're the latest in a trend. I've watched as you did everything they asked you to. And finally, those jerks and I agree. They made their choice and said that you weren't good enough. And you're not good enough for me. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> this is all your fault. I told you everything not to do, and you did it. My fault? It's not like this worked out for me. That was my first kiss. Everything <laughs> in my life right now is a disaster. You've been in Appleton for a month. Face it, it'll get worse. No. No, I'm gonna fix this with Brett, and I'm gonna fix this with Patrice, and you're gonna help me. I just need a plan. Face it, Evan. This can't be fixed. I have to fix this. You saw what happened. They're gonna treat me like I have some kind of disease. Oh, Archie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Right now, I think I'm doing a whole lot better than you are. Archie, Archie, wait. Great. There goes the last persona who's still talking to me. Rabbi in Indiana. 
classes will speak. You're a geek. If it's Saturday night, you don't have any plans, because you spent the past week learning Greek. You're a geek. If you're very well acquainted with the locker room geek. toilet, because your head is shoved inside to squeak. I'm a geek. If you start to get excited, because you're going to throw a party, but the people you invite just
going to destroy me. But she's hot. But I hate her. But she's hot. God, <laughs> what do I do? Yo, Rex. What is he doing here? Brett, the brain has something he wants to say, and we really think you need to listen. You're on your own, bro. Why should I listen to you? You're the one that messed me up with Ken in the first place. In fact, why should you even live? Okay, but there's a way to make everyone happy again. You need to dump Lucy and get Ken back. Ken don't want to talk to me. I didn't say this was going to be challenging. All right, you've got 10 seconds. Starting nine seconds ago. Okay, you just go to Kendra and you. Five, four, two. You just go to Kendra and you. Talk to her. Yeah, just go to Kendra and talk to her. I need you to tell me that. God, boys are so stupid. No wonder you're not real. Maybe the talk in the heart. How are you really feel? Like what? Like. Lucy, 
just go away. We're through. Tell me I thought about what's happening. <laughs> Tell me I wish I I don't know. But I know that I like you. Did that work?
crazy over something I don't even want. Forget it. I'm just going to call my bar mitzvah off. Why? What's the point? It won't be what I planned. It'll just be losers or us. No offense. What's the point of that? What's the point of anything? Okay. If that's what it is, then that's what it is. You're probably right to just forget it. But face it, you've worked so hard, and now you're scarred and free of any hope. I guess you should vote. Forget what you planned. Hey, I understand. If that's what it is, then that's what it is. Though that's not the way I choose to see it. I had my own key that worked with all these jerks and unenlightened fools. I make my own rules. I do what I can. Fight a wall. Well, maybe it's all just part of the plan. Tomorrow will come. Today will be gone. And so I put one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. And just keep walking. Is that 
place I never thought I'd call home.
All this time, I thought Kendra was the one that I wanted. And Lucy, Lucy kept coming after me. But when I grow up and I go to high school, I want Cassie to go to senior ball with me. <laughs>